What is going on guys? DBG here. And 2K added in a whole bunch of new dynamic duos. 2K added in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 24 duos. I'm pretty sure they only say they added in 20 duos. Or they say more than 20. But yeah, there have been 20 there are 24 dynamic duos added. I will say this though. Um I'm going to have a read of this. And if these if these duos are half-assed. Like, at this stage, you might as well just scrap evos and duos. I fully believe that. It says over 20, okay. So they didn't just say 20. I fully believe that you should just scrap evos and duos. Because if you guys have looked and seen this right here. Evo sword by date added. We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like, this LeBron James came out on, like, the 19th of February. I think since the middle of February, we have got nine dynamic duos. It's now July. It's been five months and we've got nine, sorry, not nine duos, nine Evo cards. We have got nine. And if you want to say since the start of it, since the end of March, since late March, we have got four. Four Evo cards. The last Evo card that was in packs was in February. And the last Evo card we got in a code was May, some stage, May 11th. If you're going to half-ass them, don't you don't have them in the game. Evos are great in 20. Evos have been useless this year because you just haven't put any of them in. Okay, so the duos are Trey Young, Capella, Lamarcus Aldridge, Clyde, Bam out of bio, Bam out of bio. I've gotten so like people have said it to me, and it's actually true that I've gotten so used to just laughing at the way Kenji Perkins says Bam's name that I've ended up saying after him. What like really LeBron Jordan dynamic duo before Jordan Pippen? Okay, so you have a Jordan Pippen duo. Okay, so let's take a look at this duo right here. Does it make any difference? Why, why couldn't you just give him some better badges? Or like make him a better dunker? Wow, he gets a plus one three-pointer when he already has a freaking 98. Wow, what a difference. I mean, at least he shoots a little bit better. At least Capella's a better shooter. But like, why would you ever use Trey Young? At least make him a dunker or something. At this stage in the game, just make him a dunker. Just do something to him. This duo, worthless. If there are any duos that aren't worthless in this, I'll be shocked. Lamarcus Aldridge goes a plus two three-pointer, plus two strength, plus three rebounding. You're not going to notice a difference. Clyde Drexler, please. If he goes up, you know what? A plus five three ball actually does make a difference. Actually, it would. But the fact is, is that a 92 three-pointer with even Vogel goes up to 95. And then with another player on the floor with Floor General. Um, which he doesn't even have. So any player on the floor, floor general. And he goes up to a 99 anyway with a coach and floor general. So that doesn't make a difference. Defense consistency doesn't matter. The same card. Dynamic duo number two of two that I will call worthless. These guys are already invincible cards. Wow. Look at all those stat upgrades for a card that's already an invincible card. Oh my god, a plus one pass perception. Oh my god, lads. Oh my god. Absolutely beyond worthless. Absolutely worthless, lads. Okay, then we got Bam out of bio and Tyler Hero. Bam plus wow. A whole plus two three point rating. That makes all the difference. And like the thing is duos like you you can't duos can't affect badges. Well, maybe they said the start. Well, they told us the start of your duos can affect badges. Maybe that was lying. Maybe it was like heat check cards when they said it was going to change badges, which they didn't. Worthless. So we've got four duos in so far. We're four duos in. And the only word that I can describe all of these duos with is worthless. Like, they're going to be more off putting than anything if you guys have seen. Um. If you guys have seen, uh, I forgot what I was about to say. Um, either way, could they not just give him a 95 driving dunk? Or if you've a uh, 94 pass perception, it's like this, it's worthless. Duo number five that is worthless. Dino Raja plus the impossible, almost impossible Drazen Petrovic. Like. Worthless. Like, can we just go back to 2K17 duos? 
Like, why couldn't you end up giving, I don't know, Vlade Divac with Amethyst Chris Webber? To make, suddenly, Amethyst Chris Webber a Dark Matter. Something like that would be fun. And you give Amethyst Chris Webber a load of bodies. But this here. Wow, a plus three three-pointer. When he already goes to 99 with a coach before general. Plus 25. You updated it. You up this shot IQ. You up this shot IQ. Shot IQ helped. His biggest upgrades are shot IQ, health, defense IQ, and defense consistency. Those, they, they don't do anything. Those stats don't do anything. I get it. You know what? Vlade does have a few upgrades, but I mean... The fact that they just update, they updated shot IQ is just annoying me. But in fairness, he does have a couple of upgrades. So then we have got Dominique Wilkins and Dikembe. Am I right in saying Dominique did not play for the Hawks? Dominique has never played with Dikembe Mutombo. Am I right in saying that? Am I the only, am I right in saying that he has never in fact played with Dikembe Mutombo? So he played till 1994 with Atlanta. And I'm pretty sure Matumbo was playing for Denver at that stage. Yeah, there is no link between Dominic. As far as I'm aware, there might be some that I know, like some that I'm not quite sure of. But from what I've seen, there does not appear to be a link between the Ken Matumbo and Dominique Wilkins. He's able to track both of them at Atlanta on their cards. Yep, same card, no difference there. You know what, plus 16 free throw, that might help. If you're running them both anyway, that might help. But again, the gigantic thing is off-putting. The gigantic black circle under the player is really off-putting, so. That's all I'm gonna say. Then we've got Mo Bamba and Jonathan Isaac. Um, They're great cards. 99 three-pointer with the duo. Doesn't really make much of a difference, but. Again, maybe if you're running both of them together, but again, it's got, maybe it's off-putting. So, plus one three-pointer, doesn't matter. Come on, at least give this damn new Hall of Fame badge. Dude, it's a why would you ever run with a 28 Hall of Fame badge card? Duo worthless. Oh, Sim Vular and Tyrese Halliburton. You know what? Halliburton goes up five driving dunk. But, like, why the hell would you ever use Sim Vular? 70 speed with ball. 91 three-pointer. He doesn't go up in anything that matters. And post moves? What does post moves do? I'm not even quite sure what post moves does. Again, doesn't go up in anything that matters. You, you had the potential to boost him up in three ball. You didn't. Same card. Okay, we've yet to find a duo that does anything. What? <laughs> they actually think that's acceptable. They actually think that's... This 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 has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. Plus, a combined 21 total stats in mostly useless things between both of these guys. Oh, dear lord. This has to be a joke. Plus two three ball, plus four driving dunk. Again, you're you're just these are just boosts and things he's already good at. Like, like why not just give him a ninety standing dunk, a ninety post hook, a ninety block? Why not make his duo something like that? He's still not gonna be any different in game, but at least that's something. Shaq. Plus like 97 99 block, that doesn't matter. Like these are all things that don't matter. Like this is the most half ass job of a dynamic duo I've ever seen. Kyrie Irving, 99 three ball, 99 driving layup. Again, why are you, why not just give him a 95 driving dunk? Like, why not just do that? What are they gonna do, boost him from 97 to 99 three pointer? Oh, wow, they did. Wow, they actually think boosting, like they're boosting useless stuff. They're boosting stuff that are already high. Like, why not? Why not give him 10 extra Hall of Fame badges or something? Why not do that? Leitner and Grand Hill. You know what? Leitner actually does get plus 10 driving dunk. Leitner does actually get a bit better. I will say, I will say that Leitner gets a bit better. Grand Hill plus 4 3 ball irrelevant. Leitner gets better. Hill doesn't, but Leitner does get a bit better. So, I mean, if you're a big Duke fan, you can use these guys. Chris Middleton. I 
again. Just bumped up in stats that he's already got at. This Giannis is potential. They give him a plus 10 three ball. You know what? Plus five three ball gives him up to 90. I'm going to say this isn't a bad duo. If you're a big fan of Giannis and you can't afford one of the two big yet, the two Dark Matter Giannis's, this Giannis right here, if you want to use Chris Middleton, you're a big Bucks fan, that's actually not a bad duo. This is the first one that I can say is not too bad. The rest of them, I'd be very iffy on, this one's not too bad. Vince, just the same card again. T Mac, just 12 stats, and six of them are in defensive consistency and pass perception. And two of them are in ball handle, which doesn't matter. Anything above 86 is the exact same with ball handle. Okay, we got Magic and Larry right here. This one has potential because they're both kind of cheap versions of their cards. Like, this is where you have the potential to go plus 100 total stats. Yes, you gave him an up driving dunk. Like, this is where you can go to like 97 speed and stuff. Like, this is where you have the potential to. This isn't a terrible duo, but that's where you have the potential to do that. And then at least he went plus 68 on Magic Johnson. Like, you know what? I get it. He's only got Magic and Quick. He's still not going to be a great shooter. He's only got gold range. They should have juiced this duo more, but this isn't a terrible duo. If you don't have... Let's see if you don't have that much MT. But the freaking good Magic Johnson and the good Larry Bird are combined. You can literally get Dark Matter Magic and Dark Matter Larry... Or an Opal... Good Opal Larry Bird combined for like 40k. And they're probably better than these. Here we got Jordan and Scotty. I mean... Scotty, it's a little bit better shooting, I guess. It doesn't change the fact that he's got a cruise release. And this Jordan doesn't get any better, and he doesn't get half range, so... Yeah, there's no point using this duo ever. Zion Williamson. I mean, that's Zion, unless, again, they don't give him half range. Wow, open a bunch of stats that don't matter, and this RJ Barr probably isn't that far to go. Yeah, open a bunch of things that do not matter. Again, 96 to 99, 3. You guys might think, oh, it's 99, 3. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Coaches, shoes, floor, general, bumps them all up. The Jet Terry. Plus, wow, they bumped up a shot IQ. You know, you know when out of... What? Oh, sorry. These stats don't count a shot IQ. They don't count shot IQ in total stats. Because that doesn't do anything in game. Shot IQ and intangibles don't do anything. Um, Lateral 99. I mean, he does get a bump at some things, but again, he's, they just bumped the shot IQ to keep his overall high. Dirk's the same card. Wow, we've really, really not seen any great duos. You know, the only duo I'd say is not awful. Well, the only two I'd say are not awful are Magic and Larry and Middleton and Giannis. Especially Middleton and Giannis. I don't think that's awful at all. Kawhi, obviously, Kawhi doesn't have far to go, so plus two, three-pointer. Like, Kawhi is the same card. But Tony Parker, maybe? Actually, Tony Parker base is horrendous this year. Yeah, he's still not going to be good. I mean, if you, again, if you want to use the Spurs squad, it might help Tony a tiny bit. Actually, it won't at all. I know what I'm saying. D Rose. Again, plus 15 driving dunk actually does help. You are kidding me. He goes from a plus he goes from a 98 to a 99 to give him plus 15. Alright. Alright, 2K. Alright. Maybe it's a problem with the site. This Jimmy Butler is 17 half badges, he's not gonna be any good. Like, yeah, you can bump up his stats as much as you want, but if he's got 17 half badges, he's got 17 half badges. So yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. These duos are kind of worthless. They're kind of worthless. These are all 24 duos. Normally, when it comes to like things like this, we normally take like one minute per... We normally take one minute per... Um, duo per player, but uh, we got through most of these so quick because it's worthless. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.